Hey everybody, welcome back. Comic Specter here. I know it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, and I usually save this for special announcements or uh, CGC unboxings. I recently purchased three uh, slabs. Two were from, uh, I believe, Slab Heroes or Hero Slabs on eBay, and then the other one was a um, exclusive from Unknown Comics. I had to wait because it was a uh, CGC uh, signature series. And I have those three here this evening. Um, it's been quite a while, but I'm really happy that I got them. So I'll go ahead and do a unboxing now. And also I have uh, a couple of other comic books that I got uh, along with uh, the CGC slab from Unknown Comics that I have a little story behind. And it's kind of a... It's like a mini rant too, so we'll go ahead and get started. As you guys know, I am a huge fan of Francisco Matina. I think that guy does absolutely phenomenal, great artwork. And I'm also a pretty big fan of both Batman and uh, Deathstroke. So, let's see how much, how well did they pack this? Well, they used a ton of uh, bubble wrap. This is just like a layer, like a really thick layer of uh, bubble wrap right there. And that was just like on t sitting on top of it. And then on like the sides, they did like these rolls, which is really nice. And it looks like my cats want to play with it, so that's cool. Here, go play. Here you go, Max. All right, what do we got? So yeah, it definitely did come uh, packed really good. really good they did but I mean when you when you order slabs you should expect you should expect you know that they treat it that way for the uh, amount of money that you usually pay for these follow us on Instagram yeah it's uh, I, I got these two slabs from slab heroes on eBay and uh, the prices are actually pretty good. Uh, depends on what you're looking for. Man, they wrapped the living crap out of this. Woo! All right, let's see. Any more teep? Go. Get all, this, get all this tape off here came in bags too that's nice both of them are bagged all right very nice all right first up I have Deathstroke issue number 37 and this is the uh, Francisco Matina cover it is beautiful. I get that glare off. Man, look at that. Woo! That is a beautiful, beautiful 9.8. Man. Try to get some of that glare off. Try to. So that's the first slab. I think this was like right around fifty dollars too, which I mean isn't that bad, honestly. Next up, I have Batman issue number fifty-eight. Again, this is a Francisco Matina cover, and it is man. That 
focus. There we go. That is beautiful. 9.8 CGC. Beautiful cover. And then, and lastly, this uh, last one is a signature series. Um, I was waiting on this for man, quite a while. And when did he started a series? Uh, I'm sure you, a lot of you guys know about it. It's uh, the Return of Wolverine. And um, while like issue one was pretty decent, uh, issue two was pretty lackluster. And I haven't read issue three yet, but uh, I got a CGC copy of Return of Wolverine number one. This is a virgin variant of the Miko Cyan uh, cover, and it's also signed by him as well. So I had to wait a while because it did get signed. Um, it got signed back on October 7th, I, that's what it says. And it's a homage cover to Incredible Hulk, issue number 181. Try to get. Uh, there we go. There we go. Beautiful cover. Yeah. So much detail. So happy to get that. Very nice. So, at Return of Wolverine issue number one, signed by Miku Soyan and uh, 9.8. And this is a Unknown Comics exclusive. Very nice. Very nice. So, I got three new CGC slabs, which are excellent. Now, for the, uh, the bad news, or rather, a, a story. A little, a little story, okay? So, back in October, all right, Return of Wolverine um, had a second print, and it was a really nice cover, all right? It was uh, the McNiven variant with the claws, right? Well, like right away, or I don't know, like the day it came out or whatnot, everybody knew that it was an error print, right? Well, people were snatching it up, like well, collectors were, anyways. Like as soon as I I, uh, I read that uh, it was an error print, and it was like two different pages were swapped out with I don't know if it was Venom or what, but I just remember it was an error print. I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get my hands on that, right? So I immediately went on Unknown Comics, and I I purchased the last two issues like I purchased two and then, then it was sold out okay and I was like sweet yes I got it. I got the two I got two copies of the air print right well guess what they did me dirty okay so I waited I waited a while and I saw no notification of shipment and I was like what is going on right and so I contacted them and they told me that, oh, yes, we're aware of the error print and we have, we have uh, stopped shipment on, on this issue until replacement copies can come in. And I'm not gonna lie, maybe I'm in the wrong for this. I don't know, maybe you guys can shed, uh, shed some light on this. But I was immediately pissed off because I had paid for a product and I didn't care like I was like I wanted it I was like okay I ordered it I wanted it and I told him that I was like yeah I know I was like it literally sold out on your website within the first 24 hours because everyone was aware that it was an error print and they came back like they replied to the email and they said um, 
that they wouldn't do it. They're like, no, we're, we're not going to send it to you. And I said, I asked for a refund in the email, and they didn't say anything to that. And they said, you'll get your, you'll get your uh, copies of the second print when we get stock available, right? Okay. So, fast forward to last week. So, we're talking almost a month and a half I waited, okay? And last week, I contacted them and I said, what is the status on this book? Because I've been waiting since it came out. There was an error print. You wouldn't ship that to me. And I've been waiting for the second print forever. And... They said, we'll look into it. And that was the last I heard, right? And then today, with, uh, or, yeah. Today, it finally showed up. And so, I mean, the cover is cool. But, I mean, honestly, I could really give a crap less about the second print of this book because Return to Wolverine is pretty much garbage. Uh, the entire, I don't know, so far the storyline is just super unimpressive. Um... His costume looks like absolute dog crap. And the story is extremely lackluster. Oh, yeah. And the art is, like, straight junk, too. So it's, like, it's bad. It's bad all around. Um, and it's it's so sad because it's, you know, reinter reintroduction of one of the most important characters in the Marvel Universe, right? And they're just doing him dirty so bad. And... It was extremely unfortunate that I got done dirty by Unknown Comics. Here is in fact the, the cover. I thought that the cover art was really good, but uh, that wasn't that wasn't even why I got it. Like, I got it because of the error print. So I have two of these. Um, obviously they finally they finally shipped it uh, like a month and a half later. Which, uh, to all you guys out there, unless you're buying like an exclusive or something from Unknown Comics, I would steer clear because their customer service is really poor. Their shipping is absolutely horrendous. Like, get this, okay? So, you order, you know, uh, you pre order comic books for like next month, right? And you, you pay a premium for shipment like I think it's like you know uh, priority and they, they charge you pretty good for it okay so you'll get it quick once they finally ship it the problem is is that they're not going to ship it like in the like fine print when you order your books it says there's a little disclaimer it says it'll be it's like 7 to like 14 business days from release so yeah, good luck. You know, that's like two and a half weeks or longer. So if you like waiting that long on your books, I mean, more power to you. But me personally, I'm pretty much done with unknown comics except except for exclusives because just I've been, I've been getting burned so many times by them on books. And I think this, this Wolverine uh, second printing was the nail in the coffin for me. But aside from that, guys... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed those uh, the CGC unboxing. I know I'm absolutely ecstatic to get those. I've been uh, waiting for them for a little while, and I'm finally happy to have them in my collection. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, drop me a comment, and if you if you're new to the channel, uh, drop a sub and let me know that you have subscribed to the channel, and I'll I'll hit you back, okay? But uh, until next time, keep on collecting them books.